we already know that even if you have a standard pronunciation, you still may have a non-standard accent. And stress is likely to be the cause of it. Hi, I'm Wei. In this video, I'm going to show you what stress is and how to find stress in words and sentences. So, what is stress? Stress is the act of making a syllable relatively longer and louder. For example, in the word apple, we can see that a ah is longer and louder, so we can tell that it is stressed. If we place the stress on a different syllable, even with flawless pronunciation, the accent instantly become non-standard. For example, apple. So how do we know which syllables are stressed? Okay, for word stress, it's very easy. You just have to look in the dictionary and find these symbols. This symbol means the syllable carries the strongest stress, which is the longest and loudest. We call it the primary stress. This symbol means the syllable also carries a stress, but not as strong as the primary stress. We call this the secondary stress. You can look at these words. Resonation 19, photographic. For sentence stress, it's slightly more complicated. There aren't any symbols for you to find. Fortunately, there are some general guidelines. Generally, content words tend to carry stress, while function words tend not to carry stress. This is because content words tend to carry more information than function words. For example, I want a drink. I can make it. I can't sleep. Tom and Jerry. These are stressed because they are content words. These are not stressed because they are function words. But this is not always the case. Technically, you can place a stress on any word of the sentence depending on how you want to convey the message. For example, I want a drink. I can make it. I can't sleep. Tom and Jerry. And just like word stress, there are also primary sentence stress and secondary sentence stress. And we normally place the primary stress on the most important word. So in this video, we have learned that stress is the act of making a syllable relatively longer and louder. If you want to find stress syllables in words, go look for these symbols. And if you want to find stress syllables in sentences, go look for content words or the most important words. Do you think stress plays a big role in accents? Tell me in the comment section below. If you want to have a standard English accent, click the link below to get a free gift. This video ends here. See ya.